and before getting inside the body tag let's give id attribute to the body tag my page so that we can access the top of the body from the bottom of the page by using this id anyway get inside the body tag let's start with the landing page part that is the part of the website which will open up first when we open the website so create a section tag because we are going to define a new section that is the landing page and let's add the class attribute and the class as wrapper and id as parallax-1 and we are going to use this id to add the parallax effect to this landing page part Alright then get inside and create another div tag and write the class as overlay and we will use this class overlay to add a slight grey color effect to the landing page image. Anyway then get inside and create a header tag and write class as d-flex-r so we are using this class to change the display property of this element to flex and the flex direction to row I mean we have not yet defined this class in the CSS but we are going to define it later and these are the properties that we are going to use with this class that is we want the display as flex and the flex direction as row so that whatever we define under this element they all get stacked next to each other in the same row space clear and justify hyphen content hyphen space hyphen between and we will use this class to change the justify content property to space hyphen between so that the elements inside this flex they are justified in a way that they have space in between them alright then get inside and let's define the logo which has to be on the top left corner for that we are going to create our div and use class as my-1 and we are using this my-1 class to add margin top and margin bottom as 1 rem or 1 rem these are some of the helpful classes that we are going to define in css and then use them throughout the website because they are going to help a lot in setting up margin and padding right from the HTML without getting in the CSS anyway then ID as logo then get inside and create a, a tag that is the link alright then get inside and create the image tag that is the IMG tag and write the source as the IMG forward slash logo dot PNG Alright then get below and let's start with the navigation bar create a nav tag and write the class as fl underscore write and we will use this class to change the float property to write then font hyphen access this is to get extra small font size text hyphen uppercase to transform the text to uppercase characters then id as main hyphen navbar don't worry about these classes we are going to define them once we are finished with this landing page part so we are going to define these classes most probably in the next video all right then get down and create a ul tag that is the unordered list tag and class as clear clear will change the display to block for this ul tag then create a li tag that is the list item and class as active because we want the first link to be active all right then create a a tag that is the link and then write the text as home then get below and create another li tag get inside and create a a tag write the text as hotels then get inside the li tag and create another ul tag because we are going to create a level 2 menu for this so that when we hover over this hotels link the link that we are going to define next will be displayed 
so create a li tag get inside and create a e tag then write some text and copy it and paste it few times to create some links all right so these are the level 2 links then get outside this ul tag and the li tag and create a new li tag that is the level 1 link get inside and create a e tag and write the class as a drop because we are going to have level 3 links in this all right then get inside and create a ul tag then get inside again and create a li tag then create a link write level 2 then again create a li tag create a e tag and write the class as a drop because this is also a drop down menu and then write level 2 plus drop and this will open up the level 3 so get inside and create a ul tag then get inside again and create a li tag and create a a tag write the text as level 3 all right then create some more links so the first link that is a packages was the level 1 link then these are the level 2 links and these three are the level 3 links so get outside this li tag containing the packages and create a new li tag which is going to be the level 1 link and create some links in this manner and these are going to be the level 1 link all right With this we have completed the navigation link, open the file in the browser so we can track the progress, alright. And now let's define the banner text, so create a div tag for that and write the id as banner hyphen text, class as d hyphen flex hyphen c so this class is going to change the display property of this element to flex and the flex direction as column so that all the items or all the elements that we are going to define within this div tags get stacked up in one column but in different rows all right then create a article tag then get inside and create a paragraph text that is the p tag and class as my-1 as i have already told you my-1 is going to add margin top and margin bottom to one rem or one rem then font access is going to get small size font then write the text and if you want to transform the text to uppercase character just add this class text hyphen uppercase all right then create a heading tag a h1 tag write class as heading and we will use this heading class to add a different font style for the headings then text hyphen left to left align the text then text hyphen uppercase to transform the text to uppercase characters then text hyphen bold to change the font weight to bold then font x3 to get large font size then my hyphen 1 to add margin top and bottom as one rem then write the text or the heading for the website then get below and create a p tag add some margin so write my-3 to add margin top and margin bottom 3 rem or 3 rem and font access all 
right let me copy the text add a break tag to change the line then create a footer and this is going to be the footer for this article don't get confused this is not the footer for the entire body get inside and create a button tag and write the class as btn we will define this btn class in css so that we can use this btn class throughout our website then write the text so this completes the landing page part of the website in html now let's move to the css Thank you.